What's going on, DJ family? DJ Reese of No Stress Zone Entertainment. Back with another video. Before we hop into the video, DJs, ladies and gents, people of all ages, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we had to start all over again, man. You know, originally I had a DJ channel before. It was called the same DJ Reese. However, it was shut down. Uh, we were monetized as well, but we're starting over again. It's all good. I had other channels linked to other channels with different content, which, you know, I do admit it was my fault. You know, some of the content I was posting that were uh, that was linked up to other brand channels weren't fully, you know, they weren't fully edited properly in sense of showing, you know, they weren't fully my videos. I would take content from other videos and add it into my video and they were being flagged rightfully so you know i'm not upset about that so we had to start all over again so before i get to the video again I, I appreciate everybody make sure you subscribe man i got a good one i got a good topic today should djs expect to be tipped all right we had a five six hour event even before leading up to the event you, you as a dj made several changes uh, the client called you all day, all night long for weeks to adjust this, adjust that, to adjust this. Or they made a change to the wedding template. Or they want you to create a mix coming out, you know, for the, the bridal party. Should you receive a tip for your hard work and the long extensive and the long hours that you DJ for the night of the event? No. All right. I'm a DJ and I'm saying no. And the reason why I'm saying no, not just as a DJ, anybody, a vendor, never expect to be tipped. You shouldn't expect anything, you know, at the end of the day. You know, I, one thing I do, you know, expect if I'm being respectful and, uh, you know, showing my client re respect, of course, I, I expect to be respected as well. That's about it. As far as receiving a, receiving a tip, Absolutely not. It's not a must in our industry. It's not a must that a client has to tip the DJ, the entertainment service provider. There's nowhere that says you have to be tipped for your service. That's not a requirement. So you shouldn't have that expectation. You know, you, you shouldn't expect, hey, my client has to give me a $50, $100, $200, $300 tip because I, you know, delivered excellent service and excellent work. No, that should never be ex expected. And definitely, you know, when it comes to expectations, the less expectations you have, I truly believe the better off you will be. You know, you can't expect people just, they have to do this for you or this is required when it's not a requirement, all right? So, I mean, that's my answer on that topic. You know, DJs, you shouldn't expect to be tipped. Vendors, you should never expect to be tipped. If you are, if, if a client gives you a tip, hey, that's amazing. That, that's a dope thing. That's a blessing. You know, be thankful for it, but you shouldn't expect it every time as it's a, it's a must. It has to be done. So if you are tipped again, you know, be gracious about it. Be accepting to it. You know, be happy. You know, hey, I received a tip, fifty, hundred dollars. It does add up. You know, if, if you're if you're someone who does anywhere from, you know, fifteen to twenty events a month, that's what that's typically what I do. Fifteen to twenty, sometimes even more than that. You know, last week I DJ seven events in four days, but typically on a month basis for me, I'm DJing DJing anywhere from fifteen to twenty plus events. So if I, if I D say if I DJ 20 events in June last month, and I actually did DJ, I think 22, but 20 events in June and no, I wasn't even tipped for half of them. I want to say I was tipped maybe seven, seven times out of the, out of the 22 times. But, um, if I were even was to receive say a hundred dollars for 20 events, that's an extra $2,000, which is, which is fabulous. Amazing. Or if I received $50, that's an extra thousand dollars a month. So yes, the tips can add up. It can be very helpful, you know, for you to just side money or things you want to purchase or buy or things you just want to buy for yourself or even just put away if you want to, you know, invest, 
or invest back into your equipment, you know, tips are great. But having the expectation that you must be tipped, that's not great. And you got to do away with that expectation. All right. So that's just my two cents. I would love to hear other DJs comment below on this topic. As a DJ, should you be tipped? Should you expect to be tipped? Again, my answer, my reply is no. You should not expect it. If you if you are tipped, if you if you do receive a tip, be very gracious about it. Be thankful. It's a great thing, but it's not something you should expect or has to be done or is a requirement. You know, imagine if you had that in your DJ contract. I I, I couldn't see. I mean, I know I wouldn't hire that DJ to be honest. If that was a requirement, that they have to be tipped. You know, save your service was terrible. You know, why do you think why do you think you're entitled to a tip? You know, leave it up to your client. If they want to tip you, that's fabulous. It's great. It's wonderful. If they do not want to tip you, it's not the end of the world. You have more clients, more people you'll DJ for. So again, ladies and gents, DJ Reese and No Stress Zone Entertainment. I'm signing out. And before I leave and end this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate the love. Again, shout out to all my DJs, DJs out there, all the mobile DJs doing their thing, wedding DJs, fashion show DJs, corporate DJs, high-end DJs, um, bar DJs, club DJs. Man, shout out to y'all. We Man, we make the world go around, man, with the music and the good, the good vibes that we provide. But again, the question is, DJs, should you expect to be tipped? Please comment below. Again, it's DJ Reese. I'm signing out. I appreciate y'all. DJs, stay blessed. Peace and love.